everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, a lot's gone on this year. I've moved, I sold my house, we moved, and then I got quite sick. And if you know, if you have any form of like allergies or um, stomach issues and things like that and your gut health, you will know that it is really hard to do pretty much anything um, other than, like, you know, you just kind of are drained and tired and you just don't have time to really do anything. You don't really feel like it. And, um, it does take a lot of work setting all this up and filming, like, believe it or not, it takes time. So I just really haven't done too many videos. Now I have filmed a few in this room and I didn't like the quality of them. So now I figured everything out. I have a Mac computer and I have like a screen here and it looks like I'm clear today. So I have filmed this video before, but I didn't like the quality of it. And I feel like I didn't give as much information that would help everybody out and that's kind of like what I've been thinking about what I want my channel to be and I what I've always wanted it to be was a place where somebody could come and you know learn how to do hair a talk through you know from somebody and that's just kind of like when I have a client sitting in my chair and I talk them through how to do it when they go home they kind of forget so it's just like a place for reference where you can go or if you are going out and let's just face it we don't all have the money to go and spend and get our makeup done and our hair done so YouTube is a great place where you can click on watch how someone does their makeup watch how somebody does their hair learn about some products that maybe you can go purchase that would re really work out for you and I just wanted my channel to be really laid back and casual and easygoing and I don't want it to be all production like it is you know nowadays and it's fine if you are a, you know youtuber and it's all about like the fancy lighting and the production and stuff and that's totally fine I just really want good quality informative videos and I just want them to be relaxed and really chill and you know if you like me you like me if you don't you don't and that's kind of just really how I always wanted to be and I know I've got comments that I'm awkward and I look all over the place well you know I've said in the past I am like nervous I feel like I'm not really nervous as much in front of the camera as I used to be I feel like I'm just an awkward person I do make weird facial expressions I'm goofy I think I trip about three or four times a day on my own feet you know I'm just one of those people and I'm not here sitting here trying to pretend to be something that I'm not so you, somebody will want to subscribe and um, I'm going to try to put one video out every week that's like my new goal is to have one video out every week and um, it is time consuming and I'm trying to learn how to you to edit on a Mac and it is so difficult but I just don't want to pump out all kinds of videos if they're not good quality and they're not 100% what I would want to watch just so I can get views or subscribers. And that's not what it's about. I just want a reference place so that my clients, my friends, people here on YouTube, anybody, you know, people watching here on YouTube, anybody that just wants to just sit down and watch a video on hair products or how to do your hair or makeup I like or just chatting about anything. Um, you know, that's just kind of what I want. One of my most favorite videos that I've ever done, which was most awkward for me to do, but I was requested, was my breast reduction video. That has lots of views, and I don't even care that it has a good amount of views. I, that doesn't even, it's the fact that the comments that people are leaving me, thank you so much, I'm not as scared as I once was. Um, that's the kind of videos that I want to do, or a community where we can all talk about it in the comments. And you make so many, like, friends that way and that's what I like because well I'm weird and awkward and I don't really have very many friends and <laughs> yeah so anyways I'm sorry if I say um and I say like and I look all over the place that's just kind of me so if you like me then keep watching if you want to learn how to do the hair and you can avoid the annoyingness that I am then just keep watching and you'll learn how to do this hair so um I wanted to do a laid back kind of textured wave. Let's just face it, it's never going to go out of style. It's always going to be around, but I wanted to do it in a different way. Now, I think I've shown with a wand and a flat iron, I've done like a textured wave. I've done one with a wand for sure. There's different techniques to different styles that you can do. 
I just wanted to t I just wanted to do it with just a regular curling iron because I feel like most people already have a regular curling iron just like your old school you know tool everybody another option and then you don't have to go out and feel like you have to buy a wand or you have to buy a flat iron and to achieve certain looks and maybe this might be your way this way might be easier than using a wand. People might find that a curling iron works a little bit easier. And there's a little technique to it. You might have to practice it a couple of times, but once you get the hang of it, it is so awesome. It's so quick and it works really well and I feel like it lasts in my hair quite a while. I washed my hair last night and usually when I blow dry my, wash my hair and then I blow dry my hair, I put some kind of styling cream in it. I don't usually use mousse at that point. I usually use a styling cream. Just before I sat down to, just before I sat down to film here, I put some Moroccan oil volumizing mousse in my dry hair and I ran the blow dryer through it. You don't have to smooth it out with a brush. You just have to run the blow dryer through it and then give it a good brush out afterwards. And the reason you do that is because put, putting mousse in your hair when it's already dry if you do or wet, if you do not dry it, it will leave it a little bit um, hard and a little bit crunchier and that's not what you want. We want soft looking hair. We want texture, but we don't want crunchy looking hair like, you know, the 80s and the 90s kind of thing, right? So, we're just you just do that, you brush it all out and then your hair will be, still be super soft even with the mousse in it. So, don't be afraid to use it. It does work really, really well. Okay? So, the mousse actually helps to set the hair. So, then you can put a less amount of product and it will lock your style in for days and then you don't need as much hairspray which can also make it look crunchy. So what I did is I went in with this, I went in with the Mika Undone Texturizing Spray. Um, I love this brand, it's cruelty free, they do not test on animals which I think is amazing. I actually like the Moroccan oil. Again, this is all preference. If your hair doesn't hold really well, um, you could always use L'Oreal Elenet. You can get that at the drugstore or at Walmart, and it's a little bit more affordable. This is a bit pricey, but I highly recommend the Moroccan Oil Mousse and the Hairspray and the Dry Shampoo. Those are my three all-time favorites, and I feel like everybody should try them in their lifetime because they are so incredibly good. And Okay, so now we're going to get into the iron, and I'm going to show you because we're going to curl in different directions and a different technique. So I want to show you um, how you know you're curling in the right direction. I feel like that's the question people always ask. Again, like I said, this is the one-inch iron. Any iron will do. So this is your barrel right here. So this part is your barrel and this right here is going to be your clamp. So that's your clamp and this is your barrel. So while I'm doing the curls, I'm going to talk you through it so that you always know where the barrel and the clamp are. That will help you to determine um, what direction you are curling, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> everything because that's the best way to do it. Now I'm going to have some shorter pieces and some longer pieces in here because I am wearing extensions and if you are wearing extensions you're just going to try to get them to blend and I will try to talk you through that as much as I can. Okay so if I'm just looking down because I'm looking down here at my um, mirror. So you're going to take about a one inch section. You can take larger sections. It all depends on how, how tight of a curl you want. So you're, I'm going to curl this section away from my face. So I want the butt of the iron, I want the barrel of the iron at the bottom and I want the hair in between with the clamp on the top, okay? And then I'm just going to run that down a couple times to smooth it out. Okay, so you're just opening and closing. I'm not squeezing really tightly. Like some people will clamp right down. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. It causes breakage and the heat on your hair is more damaging too. So just kind of slide it a couple of times. Okay, now I'm going to stop, slide and stop. And then I'm going to wrap the hair. Okay, once and then twice. And if you have short hair, you'll probably just wrap it one time. Then I'm going to release it, untuck it, and wrap it, and pull downwards. And then I'm going to turn it again, and then you're going to unwrap it, and then you're going to slide it down. 
switch directions in this because we don't want the curls, if you're going all in the same direction, the curls tend to fit into each other and look a little bit softer and flowier. Now I like to do that and then brush all the curls out and make a softer tousled wave, like um, kind of like a Victoria's Secret model, like a Victoria's Secret model like wave. Um, but we don't want to brush this one out. We want this to be tousled so we, and we want it to be messy. So you want it to sit, the curls to sit on top of each other. So going in different directions will make that. So they sit on top of each other. So now if I want to go towards my face with this curl, I'm going to switch my direction. So before I went this way with the barrel on the bottom and the clamp on the top. Now I'm going to switch directions and I'm going to go the opposite direction. Okay, now sometimes I like to go over a couple times and smooth it out if I need to and then I'll switch back to my direction where the clamp is now on the bottom and the barrel is now on top of your piece of hair. Now you're gonna run it along and you're gonna wrap it towards your face. Okay, and then wrap again towards your face and then again, if you had short hair, you would just do this probably one time. And we do want the ends to be very straight. That's what kind of adds to the look. And then we're going to unwrap the hair and unwrap the hair. And then you're just going to finish down and pull straight. I hope I'm explaining it. It is a little bit hard to explain. I think the best way is like you wrap it one or two times and then you're going to kind of pull down and when you start to pull down the curl will come off of the curling iron. That's why you don't want to clamp this iron super tight because you, it's not good for your hair and for this style to work or to make it easier for you. Just make sure it's just barely closed and then you just want to like pull down and it'll unravel type of curls you don't really need to let set. Usually I tell people don't play around with them, leave them, let them set. You really don't need to because this look is supposed to be super soft and beachy looking and re very relaxed hair. Almost kind of like bedhead what you would wake up, you know, really tousled. So once you're done curling this section you can just kind of pull the, the hair out and see it's just kind of giving you that really soft beach wave. And I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to go away from my face. Usually the pieces that are framing your face, I suggest going away. Otherwise they tend to like flop right in front of your face and it's not as flattering. It's definitely better the front pieces of your hair. Anything that's touching right around this area, you want these to go back so they flow back. And then everything else you can just kind of do random. Pull inches down, I'm going to wrap it away from my face okay and then I'm gonna wrap it again away from my face and I'm just gonna let it sit for a second now I'm not squeezing it tight I have it clamped but it's not squeezed tight I'm gonna pull down and see how it starts to twist and then I'm gonna turn my barrel one more time and then I'm gonna pull down and then I'm just gonna straighten out the end okay and then it makes like a little twist like that and as soon as it's done I'm gonna kind of pull it out and then see how it gives you a little bit of a wave. Now I'm going to go towards my face, so I want the clamp underneath the hair, and I want the barrel on top. And I'm gonna run it down a little ways, and then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm not squeezing too tight, I'm kinda just keeping my wrist relaxed and not clamping it super tight. I'm gonna hold it there for just a sec couple of seconds, 10 at the most, and then I'm gonna unravel it, and unravel it again. And if you have a little long hair, a little bit longer hair like me, I'm gonna twist it one more time, unravel it, and then I'm gonna just smooth the iron all the way down. Again, I'm not clamping it tight. I think people have that problem with the flat iron as well. You clamp too tight and you're trying to do a curl and smooth at the end, and then you get little skips or lines. It's because you're holding it too tight. So just, just as if it was sitting, just don't push any pressure on it doing this side and then I figured I should just probably show you this side as well. Now everybody has their like good side and their bad side that they like to do. Um, my right side is my hard side to do and then my left side just is a lot easier. I can whip through it faster. Um, but on myself it's just a lot harder to do on my right side. So don't get discouraged. It just might be a little bit more awkward on one side than the other. It's just how it is, right? So it's just just take your time and just try to figure 
you know, you'll figure it out. Practice makes perfect and don't get too discouraged. Just keep trying it. This is a really forgiving, easy hairstyle that if you don't do it perfect, it will look really good for so my face. So I'm gonna put, same as the other side, it's just that your barrel is gonna be facing a different way. So instead of it facing like away, this one is gonna be like pointed towards you. So you still want the lip this time underneath your hair and the barrel on the top. Now, if you're gonna tur tur curl towards your face, you would want it face this way. And again, it is awkward you know, and then you're just gonna kind of roll in towards your face, but I'm gonna do this away. So I want the, the clamp at the bottom and I want the barrel on the top. I'm gonna lightly clamp it, not squeezing, and do the same kind of technique. Again, this, sometimes I use two hands. This is a little bit more awkward for me. And then I'm gonna wrap it two times. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull down and slide it. It'll do it on its own. And then you're gonna slide at the bottom. And if you want another twist, you can turn it. If not, just slide all the way to the bottom and you'll get a longer, straight, straighter end. It all depends on how much ends you want straighter. And then again, like I said, pull it right out because you really don't want these to set and be too curly find they're too curly I actually just like to use a curling iron because it's already on and then I don't need two hot tools on and I'll just kind of go over certain ones that I find a little bit too curly that is how do I do the back so basically how I do the back of my hair I mean again I'm not the greatest at doing my own hair I'm better at doing other people's so the back I just don't really care so much but the back is a lot more forgiving than obviously the front so I'm gonna pick to go away from my face again and I'm just grabbing a piece from the back and pulling it to the side now if you do have shorter hair you're gonna have to tilt your head a little bit and try to get back there this two times and I'm pulling it from the back of the, my head to the side and you'll still get the same look I'm just gonna pull down and I'm gonna leave that end nice and straight and follow through and then loosen it up Okay, I do them too curly. They will kind of just curl and then stick straight out. So what I find is I'll get to this section and I'm going to go away from my face. So I will run the iron over and I'm putting the barrel underneath again. And I'm just going to do one turn. So I just kind of turn it one time. And this is if you guys have shorter hair, you'll do the exact same thing. Just kind of pull down and then smooth out that end okay and then I feel like it just blends a little bit better because if I go in and I try to curl too high here I get a bump which is fine if you like that look but I feel like this look looks better when your roots a little bit straighter and then the end is pretty straight then it blends into my extension a bit better but that's just my hair but like I said for your short hair girls this will probably work. If you want a little bit more volume, do a smaller section and go closer to the root and you might get two curls around around the barrel. Like I said, I'm just going to pick one and I'm doing a larger section. I don't want the curls too tight at the top because I don't want a lot of curl there. And I'm going to just kind of pull down and I'm just going to smooth it down. Again, I'm not pulling tight. I'm not opening the iron. I'm just pulling down. So, next thing I like to do is you can add a pomade at this part, but actually don't really like to do that very much anymore. Um, it's just preference. I've kind of switched it up. You can add your hairspray or whatnot. So, I'm going to go in with the texturizing spray again. And this is just something that I like to do and I like to do with my clients. So, you can flip your head over. And then kind of just flip it up. Oh. And this is just going to give you more um, grit to it. And then another thing you can finish off with, uh, you can put a pomade in. I've done that in the past, but I've just been really liking this. And it's a lot lighter on my hair because my hair tends to be finer and it'll fall flat. And I just like it for my extensions and I just like the weight look it's giving me. And this is the Silken Up Dry Conditioner. Um, I love the uh, Kardashian one, but it's really hard to find and the fragrance on there is extremely strong and can like really make me itchy and not breathe very good. But it is beautiful. If you can find it, that one's my all-time favorite. But I really like this shine spray because it's, 
It gives my dry hair a bit of a shine, but it still gives me some texture because it is an aerosol. So you don't necessarily need to do this if you have black or dark, beautiful, shiny hair. You probably would want to not use this for this look. You would want to stick with the texturizing spray and some hairspray. But for me, because my hair is a little bit on the drier side, I like when it looks a little bit healthy and this gives me the best of both worlds it gives me a little bit of like shine but it also gives me some texture as well and it smells good and it just tames my flyaways okay so there's a the finished look i kind of love it like uh so i hope you guys like this tutorial and this technique again if you go over to my instagram you will see um me doing this on someone else maybe that will help you even further and uh yeah I hope you guys like this video. I should have a couple more videos coming up soon. I have a few more tutorial ideas. Super easy, quick. Won't be as in-depth as something like this. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.